Black Guards is a new turn-based RPG from Daedalic Entertainment, a German studio that enjoys having delivered high-quality storytelling to a niche market. Known for their point-and-click adventure games, Black Guards is closer to something like Omerta or XCOM than it is Broken Sword, and in some ways that's a blessing and a curse. Framed for a murder you may or may not have committed, you find yourself drawn to a motley crew of ever-changing misfits you pick up along a Lord of the Rings-style journey through the game world. It's a charming game and one that tries to tell a fairly rich story with lots of characters and lots of voice acting. For the large part, the storytelling is a success, but at times it's convoluted as it tries to make way for gameplay-oriented events. It's a game that since the very start I've been charmed by. I wanted to love it, or rather I wanted to like it, but the dynamic of battle base, battle base over and over again is just one of the many reasons why, uh, actually, it feels more like a tablet game than a £29.99 PC game. It looks a little cheap, and I can only suspect that this is another case of the guys making it, feeling the publisher has bloated the price a little too high. There are UI bugs, and audio is often cut short. Some redundancies, such as when you become a gladiator and need to buy your kit from scratch, and the one merchant in the area doesn't offer the clothes for the casters, so you're screwed, uh, do exist, and lengthy, superfluous, and convoluted tutorials throughout the game kind of ruin the pace. This isn't a grand story, it's an intimate one, and everything about Blackguards is really quite humble. Things are very, very slow at first, and the turn-based combat doesn't seem as tactical as it really should be. In actual fact, that never really changes, but as your range of skills and spells increase over time, the combat becomes much more enjoyable. The problem is that in lengthy sessions, battles, enemies and set pieces blend together, and everything is extremely similar. You leave a 2.5D hometown, click on the map, fight your way into battles to the waypoint, move back to your hometown, talk some more, and then move on. This will make a perfect pick up and play game, but for all the reams of tutorials I experienced throughout the campaign, there isn't really that much depth. Sure, the skill system is genuinely fancy, with traits, skills, spells, talents and attributes all gloriously spread across the tab GUI to be played with, but even that becomes a chore after some time. The characters don't really help to woo you either, although an additional retraction of one here or there mixes things up, they're all very wooden, and even at times when you have to make drastic roleplay choices which could lead to the rescue or death of an NPC, I didn't feel as though I was in control of an epic story. I couldn't feel any cause or effect and it felt as though I was just clicking through reams of dialogue written by someone who certainly knows how to write fantasy, but who's perhaps reading a little too much and can't really think of any ideas of their own. Blackguards is a heavily derivative title. That said, the music is fantastic, and in short bursts I found myself being immersed in the battles, even if everything does feel a little cheap and janky. The overabundance of Bloom screams 2009 European release, but the spell effects and attack animations are beefy and meaty. There's a good variation of enemies throughout the campaign, including bosses, but battles feel incredibly samey and all too frequent. In battle, you can move a few hexes and still attack, or move double and skip your attack. You can use line of sight to your advantage and also activate certain environmental things in the world, such as some wood holding up some rocks to fall on the enemy. These are used by the dev to mix certain battles up and require you to think, but I always found that ignoring everything superfluous and going for straight up fast, high DPS blows to the enemy was more effective. This is a huge oversight, because it means the turn-based combat is much less interesting than recent offerings from other people. What's more, the hex-based nature of the map makes it really difficult to see if you're actually behind something and if that will ever help you or hinder you. You'd think the tutorial would help with all this, but it seems to completely ignore everything that is unique to Blackguards and focus primarily on everything you already know, like how to equip characters and distribute attribute points. They should have removed all of that and stuck to what's new. In reality, Blackguards is a relatively simple game, and not so much an inspired RPG as a derivative one. I am, however, certain that it will have its fans. It's charming, and it feels like an instant cult hit in the turn-based RPG niche, where people will overlook superficial problems for its story and world. Blackguards is more like the children of Hurin than it is Lord of the Rings, in terms of quality and depth, and at $29.99 I can't help but feel it looks and plays like something you'd find for $10.99 on a tablet device. 
It's difficult for me to outright say whether this is a good or bad game, but what I know for sure is that it's a pick up and play RPG that's priced far too highly, and it constantly feels like it's working against you, shoving tooltips in your face and sending you on endless battles without a chance to heal or save, although you often can, and telling the story at a snail's pace with uninspired characters. That said, I can't shake the feeling that it has its demographic, even in the state that it's in, and to those guys, I totally get why you would be charmed by it.